Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really nice premium CNC machine case for the Raspberry Pi 4. This comes to us from DeSalvo Systems and it's a US based company. All of these are made in the United States of America. They are CNC machine from a single block of aluminum. And I did mention a premium case because the price tag kind of reflects that at $49.99. Now this is a smaller company, this isn't some big Chinese company stamping these out for 37 cents a piece. These are made one at a time on a CNC machine and personally I really like the looks of it and the fact that this is a passively cooled case. The case itself acts as the heatsink for the CPU, RAM and the USB controller on the Raspberry Pi 4. So you don't need any fan or any moving parts whatsoever. This should keep us pretty cool under maximum load on the Raspberry Pi 4. And straight out of the box, I have to say, this looks absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and get it out of this bag. And it's definitely a heavy duty looking case. We have access to all of our ports on each side. And there's a Raspberry Pi logo on the bottom here. And over on the other side, we do have a little slot here. If you wanted to add a ribbon cable for your GPIO pins, you could place it in here before you assemble everything and have that ribbing cable hanging out so you still have access to those GPIOs. This is held together with four heavy duty Allen screws and inside of the box they send you the Allen key needed to get this all together. We have some thermal paste, a thermal pad for the RAM chip, some rubber feet, and four smaller Phillips head screws to hold the pie inside of the case. So I'm going to go ahead and get this apart. And inside of here, as you can see, we have these nubs that are protruding from the top of the case. This is going to make contact with the CPU, the RAM chip, and the USB controller to use the case as the cooler. This is a passively cooled case. With the amount of aluminum we have here with the case, I don't think we're going to run into any overheating issues even if we overclock this unit to 2.14 GHz, which I will be doing in this video. But before we get this together, I did want to give you a quick look at the internals here. I mean, this thing is definitely well designed and well made. An installation of a Raspberry Pi 4 is super easy. So there's really one thing you need to pay attention to when putting your Raspberry Pi 4 in this case. As you can see here, the RAM chip is actually a bit shorter than the CPU, and that's why they include this little thermal pad. If I can pick it up here. And this is going to go right on top of the RAM chip just to bring it up a tad so it'll meet that top half of the case. So you really don't need to add any thermal paste to the RAM chip itself, just the CPU and the USB controller chip. But the Raspberry Pi 4 is going to sit right in the base of the case and they do include four small Phillips head screws just to hold the Pi down to the base. And to tell you the truth, these are probably not needed because this is machined so well that the Pi doesn't move around at all inside of this case. But they are included for a reason, so I'm going to go ahead and install them here. And once the Pi is in place, it's time to add that thermal pad to the RAM chip. And I'm also going to be using a little bit of the included thermal paste on the CPU and the USB controller chip. Just a tiny bit's going to be perfect for something like this. And once we have that finished up, it's time to put the top half of the case on. Like I said, this is a passively cooled case, so it's going to make contact with that CPU and pull all of the heat right out of it into the aluminum enclosure. I'm just going to go ahead and lock this down with the included Allen key. It doesn't need to be too tight. And there it is. All of our ports are accessible. We even have easy access to our micro SD card. Now I'm going to be running Raspberry Pi OS and I'm going to run a few stress tests on this. We're going to do three. We're going to do it without the case, with the case at the stock clocks, and then overclock to 2.1 gigahertz. Okay, so here we are with Raspberry Pi OS. I have the eight gigabyte Raspberry Pi. I'm doing this on the overclock first. I'm overclocked to 2.1 gigahertz on the CPU and 700 megahertz on the GPU. We're gonna be running Stressberry here. This is gonna run for 10 minutes, stressing out the Raspberry Pi CPU. It's gonna create a log form. And by the end, I can actually combine all of the logs pretty easily. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. It's awaiting the stable baseline temperatures. It's gonna idle for a little while and then kick on up with all four cores and just stress this thing out as much as possible. And when this one's all finished up, I'm gonna go back to 1.5 gigahertz, which is the stock clocks of the Raspberry Pi 4. We're gonna run the same test, and then I'm gonna pull the case off and just run it without a case or heat sink whatsoever. I'll combine all of those into a nice little graph so we can see how this thing really cools the Pi 4. And real quick, before we get to the end here, I just wanted to show you that we are at 2.1 gigahertz here. 
It just started the stress test and we're sitting at 2.1 gigahertz on the CPU. So I've got the results here and they're actually looking pretty good. Over here we have the maximum temperature that I've set my Raspberry Pi to which is 75 degrees Celsius. It'll reach this and underclock itself so it won't go over. This test ran for a total of 10 minutes and with no case at 1.5 gigahertz Obviously, we hit that 75 degrees Celsius mark, so it underclocked itself. With the DeSalvo case at 1.5 gigahertz, we only hit a maximum of 54 degrees Celsius, which is really good here. And when overclocking the CPU on the Raspberry Pi 4 to 2.1 gigahertz, we only hit a maximum of 64 degrees Celsius, which is well under that thermal throttle limit. So yeah, I mean, obviously this case does a pretty good job cooling your Raspberry Pi, either at the stop clocks or overclock to pretty much the maximum here. So the CNC DeSalvo case definitely has the looks and it has the cooling performance to back it up. Now I did mention that this is a premium case because of the price tag at $49.99. It's definitely a bit expensive for a case for a Raspberry Pi 4. But I do want to reiterate that this is a small company. These are not stamped out. These are CNC machined from a single block of aluminum and you really get what you pay for. But that's it for this one. I really appreciate you watching. I personally love the looks and performance of this thing. If you're interested in learning more or possibly purchasing one, I will leave links to the website in the description. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.